Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Let me just turn this TV down. I'm gonna show you what Tim is making this evening. It's Tuesday night and we're having a very healthy pizza. Really hot now actually, it's just the beginning of this supposed heat wave that we're having. So Tim is making... Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Tim's kitchen. Welcome to hot, Cooking with Tim on Tuesdays. Hot salami and courgette bread. And this recipe again, where is this recipe from actually? BBC Food. BBC Food, so really easy one for you to get hold of. Oh, is Boris on? Boris is on. Boris is on. Let's turn him up. So I got cut off by Boris because we had our important announcement today about the easing of lockdown, which is so exciting. This is what I was going to show you. So we've got flatbread, some salami and courgettes and what's that called? Chopped tomato, tomato, it's just chopped tomato. Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Oh, some of that is pasta sauce. It's all pasta sauce. Oh, that looks like chopped tomato. So this is what we are eating tonight. Should we have some salad with it? Some lettuce. Yeah, mm. So it's, uh, what day is it? Wednesday. And I've just had a lovely surprise delivery. Guess who they're from? I have no idea. So the little message says, thanks for putting up with me during lockdown <laughs> from Tim, which is so sweet because I was not expecting this. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna fill them up with, and put them in a vase. How cute, and they're from Apple Yard London and look what they do with the stems. How sweet is that? So I'm gonna put them in a vase now. I just need to pick out which vase I'm gonna, we've got baking soda in there, which vase I'm gonna pop them in. So I found my vase, I'm gonna use this one. It had a candle in it, but I've decided to pop it in this now. So let us go. gorgeous i love fresh flowers i was actually thinking about getting some myself so perfect timing they look so cute with my little h m thing actually in fact no, i'll show you in a minute what i'm wearing one sec sorry i just had to get a quick pick i was just going to show you what i was wearing today because oh all masked up in the background um i love this outfit that tim's wearing I'm gonna put my mask on in a minute because basically we're going shopping for the first time since the shops have been open, since the first time, I don't know, in the whole process of the thing. So I'm really looking forward to it, but we're gonna take our masks and everything on a hand gel, be extra cautious, of course. So this is what I'm wearing. It's literally 30 degrees today absolutely roasting it's this stunning new neve and nor dress i'll link it below but i am just truly obsessed with this dress i wish i could wear it every day um yeah this these are both um pr products so just to let you know um and then i got this bag from curlio i keep pronouncing it wrong i'm really sorry <laughs> again i'll link it my mango sandals which i'm loving at the minute just so easy to wear and because they've got an ankle strap really comfortable too and then my under the story sunglasses and mango jeans so i'm gonna try and take you with me see what happens i think we might grab an iced coffee i need to pick something up for my dad's birthday and yeah that's basically what's happening so let's go
absolutely roasting. Like ridiculously roasting. Um, but it actually was quite nice walking around because everywhere was air conditioned. So it was kind of the best day to go to the shops in a way. So yeah, we had a little shop around which was so nice. And actually, everywhere was social distance really well, I thought. It wasn't too busy. Um, I think a lot of people obviously uh, working from home or back to work. So during the week, it's not as busy. But I also think a lot of people aren't going out still so if you want to go to the shops now's probably a good time because it's quite quiet and like i say all the shops i think were doing a really good job at socially distancing a lot of them had hand sanitizer everybody was walking around uh like avoiding you sort of thing and yeah it was just it wasn't too bad of an experience we ended up getting quite a few things which i'll show you in a minute i think because i'm gonna get changed out of this dress I don't want to kind of ruin it with doing jobs around the house. So I'm going to get out of this dress, but I'm literally obsessed with it. I would wear this every day if I could. Um, so I'm going to change and then we need to pop away the things that we bought. I'll show you what we got. Nothing too exciting, just some um, little bits and bobs that we needed. Ooh. And yeah, oh, it's absolutely roasting. Get the fan on. My app's not downloaded. Look, the button's here. We've got, um, I don't know if I said in one of the vlogs, but we've got the Dyson fan and air purifier. So that is obviously much welcome at the moment. Put it on full blast. Try and aerate, aerate? Aerate the room. Aerate, aerate, I don't know. So first of all, I'll just show you these two. Well, these two nail varnishes from H&M, You Say Tomato and ice cold milk. Uh, this one is actually more orangey, I think, than it looks in camera slightly. Really nice summery red. And then this one's just white and I just got some more bobbles as well. Birthday card for my dad and then we're gonna make him a cake. It's his birthday on Sunday, so we just got him some bits to make a cake with. We needed some cake tins, so that is that. So this was the box for the gin glasses, the darling tin. Uh, gin copa glasses and then these ones were actually different but i thought they matched the others so these are from a brand called giselle and yeah 9.99 for six of them which is really good price so yeah i need to get those washed i'm gonna have some watermelon put my rosé in the fridge we've got washing that needs to be sorted out fun times watch that on the floor. Have you weighed the watermelon? Yeah. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. So Tim's made us a curry. Is this from BBC Food as well? Another great BBC Food one. So it's curry with brown chicken curry with brown rice, and I'm gonna have my little rosé that I got before with it next to our flowers. How cute! We've not got our placemats. Never mind. We'll survive without them tonight. This weight on my shoulders slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. Good morning, everyone. Oh, storage keeps cutting out. It's the next morning, Thursday. Yay, we made it to Thursday. Just having my coffee. It's a good one. It's another boiling hot day. We have all the windows open. We've got the fan on got all possible options going on but it's a very warm one it's about 20 past nine and we decided to have a day off exercise today we were gonna go for a run but it was looking so so hot I just thought we'll have a day off today so 
so we have we've had a nice leisurely morning just sorted some washing out got our coffee and now we're gonna watch a bit of jeremy vine i'm asking you yeah so we're gonna watch a bit of jeremy vine and that's what we, how we usually spend our weekday mornings just watch a bit of jeremy vine and then i'll probably get back to some instagram messages Pubs are full of beer, pools are full of chlorine. Are you somebody who's been looking at the end of lockdown rules and thinking this doesn't make any sense? the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. Time for breakfast porridge with almond milk, banana, and some honey. Yum. So Tim's making iced coffee, that's what the whisking was. So you put, is it two tablespoons? Two tablespoons of instant oh. coffee. Uh, we have gone for Kenko. Other brands are available. You can put sugar in it as well, but we're being healthy, so we're just having coffee. Uh, and, and then we've got our, oh, that's actually a failed ice cube. Uh, I want normal milk, I think. Okay. Um, our big ice cubes and... So you put your milk in. I'm gonna have almond milk because I'm plant-based now. <laughs> Such a lie. All you do is get a spoon. It should be like. I think it's that kind of consistency. Like a bit gooey. Yeah, a bit gooey, a bit drippy. Like what did you mix it with? The hand mixer. But you must put water in it. Two tablespoons of hot water. Two tablespoons of hot water, two tablespoons of coffee. Yeah. And then whisk them together. It's good. It looks so good and there's like no calories in it. Mm. Of mini milk. So that's just instant coffee and hot water. Yeah. And it's strong as well. Once thought that I am stuck here, not to blame this on. So it's now got to the afternoon, it's 10 to 1. Um, I've just been doing work all morning from here, but I thought I'd try and do, not necessarily a hair tutorial, but I'm gonna curl my hair with a new device, I'll show you now. So this is it, it's called Whirl Trio. So this was sent over to me, but I think the brand must be called Whirl Trio. This is a bit more info. T3 Micro is the um, brand, I think. And then the product is the Whirl Trio Convertible Collection. So basically it comes with three different barrels and it shows you on the side of the box. You can customize it. So you can have cascading waves, defined curls like that, or polished curls, or voluminous curls. So it's got like the different barrels that you can use. So this is like the base of it. And then you just click on the barrel to the top. So I'm gonna attempt to curl it with this. So I thought I would try the cascading waves as my first one. So I think that is this. It comes with the heat protectant glove because it is it's not got a clip on it so you've just got to wrap your hair around so I'm gonna attempt it and let you know how I get on and see what I think of it I feel like it's already a good sign when it does this so it kind of gives you a barometer of it heating up and I presume it'll go all white when it's um heated but I always think that's good because with my curlers that I use now I never really know what is when it's hot enough to use them so just prepped, ugh, I've just prepped my hair, literally just brushed it out, found my parting, and then sprayed a little bit of hairspray on just to kind of give it some hold first. Doing this in the kitchen because Tim is in the other room where I would normally do my hair, and the lighting's better in here to show you. So, you need to work out which hand I'm gonna do it with, and then I'll attempt it. So I'm gonna hold it in my left hand, I've just realized my battery's flashing. Hold it in my left hand, like that, and then wrap. And I'm gonna do that with all my hair, but I think I'm gonna have to turn the camera off cause my battery is flashing. But that is the technique that I'm gonna use. So, let's have a go. Okay. 
hold, 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 hold. Oh, I think I'm meant to be putting it down like that. And then, ooh, that's made a really good curl actually. Okay, let me do the rest and I'll report back in a minute. So, just curled. I'm gonna leave it a bit of time to cool off. I'm gonna hairspray it and then brush it all out and hopefully <laughs> it'll obviously look better than this. But like little Miss Bo Peep. Little Miss Bo Peep? Little Bo Peep. So this is the finished result. I always find curls look or waves look better after a few hours or even the next day. But it has produced a really good wave. Can you see that? Yes, I'm really happy with the wave it's produced. I think it would look even better with longer hair as well. I think I'd perhaps go to the ends a little bit more, but I am pretty happy with the results. I'm excited to try out the other barrels actually. I'll let you know how I get on if I like them. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. I think when they've kind of dropped in a bit, they'll look really good. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, thanks so much for watching. My battery's flashing at me. It's been a really busy week actually, which is great because I've actually been working with some brands on some sponsored content, which is so nice. I feel like things are finally getting back to normal and it's really, really nice to be able to work with brands again. Have been doing a little bit over lockdown, but to feel like more normal, getting back into working, I mean, I've been working this whole time, but you know what I mean, to actually get back to normal kind of work and a normal pattern and routine is really, really nice and just a sign, hopefully, that things are changing, I think. I'm just looking at my hair. I feel like definitely needs to settle in a little bit. I'm gonna kind of play about with it and try and get it sorted but yeah it's been a really busy week tomorrow I've just got a few bits of bobs to sort out I'm gonna make a birthday cake for my dad it's kind of coming to the end of what has been really nice productive busy week that actually feels somewhat normal going shopping as well yesterday felt normal which was so nice I'm pleased I'm pleased with things getting back to normal let me know how you feel about everything are you back to work is it more normal for you I'd like to know it's interesting to know what different people are doing um, especially if you're in different countries as well obviously everybody's different but in England it does feel a little bit better now so fingers crossed it's a sign of good things um so thanks for watching don't forget to hit subscribe don't forget to hit subscribe if you like my videos and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye